so yeah I just wanted to come back at you again with another video um first of all let me give you a disclosure if if you watch this video as well as a couple of others and it seem as though I'm wearing the same outfit that's because I am because it's actually the same day and I've been at the track this morning um putting in my miles so I decided to just um take a few videos while I'm at my leisure and um that's just about it I'll probably upload it when I get home upload it probably sometime today whatever it's not important when but just so but anyway, I just wanted to talk to you all about how important life is and how important time, time is. Um, time in the sense of just the immediate time, like don't waste your time. And time is in, you know, years. Um, like I said, oh, I'm spilling water. Anyway, um, like I said, I go to the track um, every day. I try to make it every day. I try to, you know, make it try but not every day but damn near every day but anyway um when i go i notice as i'm walking around you know because there's a lot of grass and a lot of trees there's like this guy or what i thought to be a guy that um literally sleeps outside and um i've seen it before um it was this other guy that used to sleep on um the bleachers but um for the past i could say maybe um a two week span now there's this guy that sleeps in the grass i mean and mind you he's clean his blankets are clean initially i didn't know if it was a guy or a girl or a male or a female because they were wrapped so well but this morning as i was coming around the track facing in his direction he was up and he was walking i'm like damn what's wrong with this guy because he looked like he was like in pain or um i don't know so I sort of kept my eye on him just in case something were to happen. But then after he finished drinking water from the fountain, he turned around and he went back to the blanket. And as he did, and when he got ready to lay down, I noticed that he was not by himself. He had um, a female with him. And I'm thinking this has to be his girlfriend, his wife, his whatever. But my point to you is that time is so, you know, precious and the things that we take for granted like a roof over your head or good food to eat or just a bed to sleep in and um mind you i was just out there with my eight-year-old um probably a week or two ago and we decided to have like a i call her the monkey so it was a, our mommy and monkey picnic and we went out there and we sat in the grass we sat in the dirt and those rocks in that dirt are fucking brutal i had rocks sticking in my ass and my legs and she didn't mind because kids are kids i enjoyed it because i was with her i enjoyed it because it's something about getting low to the ground that just like does something for you emotionally but i'm thinking if you got to sleep like this every night and every day and it was like all but 10 o'clock when i left the track part in that noise they got school buses coming by but anyway um, if you got to sleep like that and you got to sleep like that every day and every night, that can become um, a situation. So, you know, sometimes you just got to stop. You got to breathe. You got to acknowledge what's important and you got to not waste your time because, you know, you think about it. You could be bitching and complaining right now about some shit that don't really matter. Next thing you know, your ass is sleeping out at the track in the fucking grass like and you'd be surprised these people could be well educated these people could have um good job history good job experience but it could be one situation that just um throw your life um into a tailspin and maybe you could never um catch your balance again or it would take you pretty much a while before you could get yourself in order and i think that that's sad because it's not just um him it's both of them a female as well and this is not the first time that i've seen a situation like this last year about this time as well i was going to the track something is burning what the hell is that it smells like and i don't mean like burning as though barbecue burning because we in the park i mean burning like your shit is on fire fucking burning anyway i hope not i hope not but anyway um last year i saw a situation similar to that and there was a couple that were actually living on the bench over here so you know and it's a sad situation i give god thanks and praise that that's never been me it's never been my situation 
um, you know, nobody that I can say, I, well, I've known people that have actually been, and I do understand some people cause these things, you know, to happen, cause it on themselves, and maybe they should have, um, have done or not have done some of the things that they have or have not done, but that's neither here nor there, but I think, I believe, um, I truly believe that, um, the greater portion of people who are displaced or, um, homeless, um, it's nothing that they cause upon themselves. It's just something that, you know, just a twist of events, a twist of fate, something happened, something went wrong. And, um, basically that's where, um, life and their circumstances have led them. And I pray to God, I pray to God for everybody that's in that, um, displaced state, you know, that, um, they can overcome it and get themselves together some type of way, be it change their habit, change their lifestyle, um, change your attitude towards people and situations or be it, um, you know, just, you know, your situation change if it was nothing that you did to cause that. But, you know, I pray to God that they, you know, stay up and they get up and, yeah, that's just a little something, you know, that I just wanted to say. Yeah, something is burning because the fire truck just came screaming by, yeah, something is burning. They ain't going towards my house, thank God, but, yeah, they, um, something is burning like i said so you know that was just a thought for the day and that's just about it and i'll be speaking to y'all later all right there it is